is the man crush. And the crush. Are they? None other than my very good friend, my brother, Kevin Dubois. Hi, Kevin. Kevin, the only thing I find, I mean, you see them sleeves that he's been rocking? Not his clothes sleeves, guys, in case you don't know tattoo lingo and thing. He have one, two sleeves, two full hands of tattoos. He like a tattoo. He had tattoo all by his ears. I don't know if he have tattoo under his clothes area because he's my brother. I don't have that kind of relationship with him. That my brother. Let me see another. Let me see another picture. Let me see. What else it have? You see what I mean? Now we get to see all the business. But Cohen, how you hiding your belly so that we see if you have any by your navel and thing. I mean navel. Oh gosh. You know, you know how I switch to the dialect sometimes. But this is Cohen Dubois. He never want to take off the shades. What going on with you? You feel you's a hard man. You're right. You're a hard man. Let me see our next pit here. What else it have? Let me see. Yes. Shades again. Tattoos again. But you look ever so gorgeous. And we love you. Because you're a hard man. You're a real hard man. He's a bacchanalist. Not me. Anyway. Our man crush Monday today. And you know he is all the way. You're laughing. I see you. Yeah? All the way from Canada. My brother. My friend. From a long time. Cohen Dubois. Dubi, 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 you hear me, Dubi? You ain't hearing me. I hear you. But I ain't hearing you loud. All I want to hear him loud. He likes to loud map. I want to hear him loud. You, you want to hear me loud? <laughs> no, 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 not too loud, not too loud. I just joking. Oh. You good? You good? So I why? say good afternoon. Unfortunately for me, I'm not, I'm not in Toronto. Where well, is? But wait now, you's a global traveler. You's a globe trapper. Where, where you is? Where, which my is now? Somewhere hot. Somewhere hot. Wait a plenty bacchanal. Well, you're not in Trinidad, so which part here is it? Can't, that the only, I hear I name bacchanal and I and the place hot. So you're not with me. Which part here is? You don't want nobody to know. You're under low. Uh, yeah, uh, under low. <laughs> I mean, I close. I close. I flight away. You better come I and see me. Away. You better apply and come and see me, okay? Because I miss you. And we have things to do. We have a lot of things to do. Because I need a stress reliever right now. Okay? <laughs> oh, God, no, no. Not like this song. <laughs> not like this song. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, how you going, babe? How you going? It's nice to see you in person. <coughs> Where's that? Co <coughs> COVID, is that you? Oh, I just joke here, no, God. I just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get straight into it. Let me get straight into it. You and I met when we were wee, wee old. From since the days of Junior Calypso Monarch, right? I want you to tell people what that was like for you. You know, because we, you won Junior Calypso Monarch, you know? More than once or once alone? Well, I mean, if you can't remember how much times I beat you. Look, look, then, look. I know you were going to say some chippiness like that, you know? Just, listen, we didn't go there. How much times you win? <laughs> <Junior Calypso Monarch. laughs> I, I mean, I was blessed. I was blessed to, to actually hold that once, you know, right. um, which is all you really need. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. Just once. Yeah, once. Once to beat me. Mm. Yeah? All right. Okay. No problem. And Calypso Monarch. I mean, you continued in the, the realm of Calypso. You know, we both did. Uh, and then I mm. branched off to Soka. Mm. And I remember you being there and watching you on TV and being really proud. What was that like, that transition from the junior Calypso monarch to the senior monarch and see, performing with these icons? What was that like for you? Um, well, it, it was always intimidating. The stage always intimidating for me. Um, I don't like the bright lights thing at all. I always like to stay behind the scene. And back then it was worse. Yeah. Um, you know, so seeing the likes of Pro Pro, um, Sandra, you know, may she rest in peace, and all these, these other great, great chocolates and all of them. And it was always an intimidating factor. It's like, here's this little boy with a picky, picky head and clothes four <laughs> times the size of he coming to go on the people's stage to compete against these people who are already established. This is their home. This is their grounds. This yeah. is their something yeah. ground. And here I am trying to come and do it. Prove what? Yeah. But you did so, win. You did win. You became no, a I didn't win. No, I, you, I didn't win Calypso Monarch. You, I, I, won, um, I won Young, young Kings. Kings. Young Kings. Well, I know you win something. You's a winner, you know. You's a winner. 
always a winner in my book. I know I just jab you plenty, but you always a winner in my book, and I always am proud of you. But what made this switch? Because I remember you asking me. You said, you said, D, you see that soca thing? I know you just do it, you know. I know you just do it. And then next time I saw you, you were in London, and you were producing for artists and stuff, so it wasn't even in the realm of soca yet. What made you decide to make that switch eventually? Um, well, I mean, Calypso didn't really break borders. Man. It didn't really cross waters. And I needed to be able to be a part of something that, that was, was blooming, that was growing. Um, and then, you know, I try doing some little beats and thing, and it, it, it worked in my favor once, you know. And then from there, I was like, you know what? This can't stop. I had to continue to do this. And, um, you know, I, I, I tried my hand at producing and writing first, because as I tell you, I do like that stage thing. Right. And then um, the first person I worked with was Bungie in New York. You know, he gave me the opportunity to be a part of his band as well, you know, and be a part of the team. You know, it was a learning experience and a growing experience for me. Right. And then from there, I went to uh, Marshall with um, Bubble Nut. And then from there, the rest is to be seen now. You know, now that, that was the journey, basically. Yeah, yeah. You forgot to you call know? my name in there, but that's all right. <laughs> no, but yeah, 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 yeah. you see, you know what I said? I said that was the beginning oh, of the journey. Oh, it's oh, only back oh, 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 go Why baddest. You? Calm down, baddest. <laughs> Calm down, baddest. Right? Calm down. So, let me ask you. What is the difference? <laughs> because you wear all these hats. You, you wear a lot of hats. And I was boasting about you the other day. You hear the term I say boasting. I was bo mm -hmm. I don't boast in front of your face. And because we're on TV, I could say these things. But don't expect me to be nice to you after this. Eh? Don't expect me to say not nice to you after. But <laughs> I was boasting about it the other day. And I say, my friend Cohen, he's a producer. He's a songwriter. He's an artist. He is one of the few people that could do all of them and do them effectively. Trust me, you are one of the few. What's the difference between all of them? For you, what is the difference? And what's your strongest? What's your weakest kind of thing? Um, well, the weakest is definitely being an artist. Um, I, oh, 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 to, oh, to put this boy, but I don't know, like me being an artist, especially on stage, people expect you to do what they want you to do. But why not, boy? I don't want to whine. If I'm not, even, if I'm not feeling the, the, the vibes to whine, I don't want to whine. Um, so it doesn't allow me to be me. Right. When I in that creative zone, where I write in a song or produce in a song or all day, all me, you know, yeah. and there is so much different sides of me that opens up what I'm during this creative process. And nobody will ever understand it. To many, it is weird, especially when I have to sit there and listen to the song thousands of times, yeah. not hundreds, thousands, <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me. And within doing that, I actually trying to dig out as much as I can out of it. And it also, I also trying to see if it will become unbearable for a person to hear this for such an extended period. Because I make music or try to make music that lasts years and don't just last what we call a season. So within doing that, the process is it hard, but um, <clears throat> you know, you gotta do what I gotta do. I need some more target. Oh God. <laughs> no, I'm not going here, but hey. <clears throat> so, all right. So let me ask you another question now. That I, I do agree with you, though, because I think you're an awesome performer, right? And not everybody, yes, I know the pressure is there to whine and jam and whatever. But I think in terms of what you do, in terms of creating, you bring alive your lyrics, you bring alive your music. I think you do it effectively, so I do not agree with you with that. But um, I do understand. Uh, well, I don't agree with you, so I can't have my opinion. Don't let me start a battle here on this TV screen. Eh? <laughs> don't let the people see your look. You're taking your tone. I ain't feeling your tone. <laughs> but um, I understand your need to be creative from ever since. And I will not provoke you because your mouth looking like it's ready to shoot out some, um, some tea from where you know about me from a long time. But anyway, let me talk spot. <laughs> We're talking spot, SPUT, your project for last year, 2020, etc. Say that again? Spot, I spot. I want to talk about spot. Let the people know all about your spot project. Those people, a lot of people oh. don't know about it. So I want to know about it. Yeah. Um, well, spot was basically um, 
is a dream that I had from a long time, but time did not allow it to, to manifest because, you know, when, you know, after Carnival, we always on the road and we all over the place and mentally we all over the place as well. But I always used to look at the industry and say that I find Soka is one of the least growing industries as far as new artists on the rise. Sometimes you might get one or you might get two. And when you compare it to the other um, genres of music out there, they have so much in it. And I was like, yo, how do I, you know, compose myself or put myself in a position to actually try and bring out artists? And I ain't talking about busting no artists. Yeah. We ain't talking about busting. We actually talking about saying no and nurturing them, teaching the them everything that is necessary to know. Because a lot of artists come out there in this industry they know nothing. Yeah. All they know about is a mix and master and they know yeah. they want bling, they know they want to make money and they know they want to live like the established ones but they don't understand what it takes yeah. to be in this industry and the first thing that will take you through is knowledge. Yeah. You know, you need knowledge. You need to know where you're getting yourself involved in. All right. And you you've know? been doing a good job at that. I want to congratulate you on the spot projects with the new artists, the, all the beats that you've been bringing out, all the, the records that you've been bringing out with them. Imagine you're not even in mm -hmm. Trinidad but you're doing it for them, you're creating that platform, mm -hmm. and I want to continue. I want you to continue to, you know, motivate the younger ones because we both started at a very tender age, and we wished for these kind of opportunities. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that you're creating that platform. Mm -hmm. But listen to me. Don't feel you again. I have a game for you. you no, know. you're quiet in that bedroom. That you just be. Where's doing that? And anyway, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a game for you. I have a game for you, Dubies. You ready for the game? Alice, let me go. Game on, let me go. This game called Would You Rather. Number one, would you rather be able to stop time or fly? Stop time. Stop time? Why? You want to stop Wait, agent? Ask my question next. Come now, it's like my answer, right? Is Fine. Okay, 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 okay. Number two. The answer. Would, oh, God, shut up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather live one last... Wait a minute. Would you rather live one life that lasts a thousand years or live 10 lives that last a hundred years each? So 10 lives of a hundred years each or one life, 1,000 years? 10. All right, that's easy. I choose the same thing. Mm -hmm. Number three, would you rather go about your normal day naked or fall asleep for a year? What kind of question is that? Answer the question. Yeah, boy, what can I who write it's this question? Khalifa do that. Khalifa do that. Which, <laughs> which one? Which one? Which one? Would you rather go about your normal about what? Would you rather go about your normal day naked or fall asleep for a year? Naked. I go take the naked. I can't sleep. <laughs> so you go let everybody see your tattoos on them? Everything. So wait, I want to ask you. You have tattoos everywhere? Next question. Oh God, I just want to know an accent for a friend. <laughs> okay. Would you rather be rich and ugly or poor and good looking? Rich and ugly. Well, if you're rich and ugly, you can pay for plastic surgery, so that is a good answer. That is a good answer. All right. Last one, last one. Would you rather get even or get over it? I'd rather get over it. That's what we're talking about. Keeping it positive. That's what we're yeah. talking about. That's why I kind of love you, you know, boy. That's why, boy. That's why he's my, that's why he's my kind of friend, too. Eh, 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 eh. What song are you dancing to? Stress reliever oh. in my mind. True! You should not sing it. I just sing it with you. But anyway, too late. You missed the moment. <laughs> when we do in the video, when we do in the video. As soon as you as soon as you get the courage to come out of Trinidad and there you go. To push that thing in my nose? You mad? I not doing that. You gotta come to, and meet me. Why you can't come point, here? At some point you have to do it. You have a Trini passport, you know, you could come here. Yes. I know. And you're close by because I'm not seeing, I'm, I'm not seeing the glass frosty. You're close by. So find your tail in Trinidad. Cohen, darling, right. I love you. All right, Bacana. All right, Bacana. I love you, Cohen. I love you too, dear. Have a good day. And thanks for having me. I appreciate you. Tell the people where they could reach you before you go on your, so on your socials. 
You can li- you can uh, find me on Instagram, Tuwin Dubois, um, Facebook, Tuwin Dubois, YouTube, Tuwin Dubois, SoundCloud, Tuwin Dubois, everything, Tuwin Dubois. Tuwin Dubois, that's what we're talking about. Thank you, Tuwin Dubois. Agon, I love you. Bye. <laughs> Ode, that is my brother, Tuwin Dubois. And he's all, listen, all they worry about how we interact. Eh? A lot of people get horrors when they see me and Kerwin talking because they always think we're fighting. But that is a relationship that spanned a long, long time. We met each other when we were like 13 years old. He's older than me. And this, I'm telling you this because he always likes to deny that he's older than me. You know, but <laughs> that's my real friend. Shine.